overall these small initiatives create that sense of belonging or that confidence in uh, these groups to use the public spaces hello i am vijayshree pennekar i am an urban planner and a co-founder at the urban project our approach in the city comes from smaller observation which generally misses the eye and loses its relevance in the larger picture we have been observing people of the city how they claim different public spaces in the city and our intent is always been how we can better these everyday claims and their experiences while using this urban infrastructure our parks gets closed in the late evening and uh, there are so many people even reach home by that time so where is the scope of these people to access the urban spaces in such time generally streets become the open spaces it becomes the modern parks for people is there a possibility to develop these spaces into public spaces for its inhabitants especially in the urban context which is intensely challenged by space as well as time especially for the adults leisure is always imagined by theme park or outings which is also possible once in a week or once in a year but where is everyday leisure where is the swing i don't remember the last i sat on a swing can there be these small leisures introduced in the city is there scope in the city to feel joyful for adults beyond sleep and food currently we are working on a possibility in the western suburb where we create such spaces of play and leisure where people of all ages all gender be it adults be it kids or be it old age they come together and play even spaces for all genders slowly but surely we are seeing that women are accessing the public spaces and we need some spaces where they feel safe from the hustle of the city such one concept called sakhi udyan is a small part of the swing project where a small space is dedicated for women so they can come for their little leisure time in the neighborhood there will be some swing there will be some landscape and some seating areas this space has possibility to grow over the time like having a counseling center we generally are there in different parts of the city but if it is available in your neighborhood it it is much more accessible for them women are generally seen or are confined to their space of the home but can there be more definitions of home for them beyond their families in such scenarios it becomes important to create that sense of claim for women in accessing the urban spaces with confidence one of such initiatives we had done in the past was introducing the women sit signage at the traffic signals in shivaji park precinct this generally gives them a feeling that uh, okay this space belongs to me whenever you design something new in public uh, in the public domain uh, the signage plays an important role it is very important that thoughtfully design signage uh, accompanies any new design in the public domain for example we are generally habituated to see the signs saying don't sit on the swings it's just for the kids but just imagine seeing a sign okay this swing is for anybody and everybody who is willing to use it this can make a big difference also if the signage is gender sensitive it creates some more opportunity for all genders to feel comfortable in these public spaces but in a city like mumbai where uh, there is such a lack of space people are utilizing every small space which is available to them like take an example of the wider footpath which has been used as a space of recreation space of leisure sometimes for people in the evening if on the footpath there is a little shade of the tree or there is a small bench or there is a kind of a katta to sit so it's very important that we facilitate such kind of spaces more in the city 
the very big challenge i find in uh, getting such projects for the city is uh, identifying the lands there are many flyovers in mumbai and there is tremendous space below these flyovers available so can we utilize this space for public use instead of just uh, as a scrap yard or uh, a place where nothing is happening can we add this space into uh, the realm of public spaces of mumbai so it's always been a problem uh, that we lack the public spaces in mumbai and now we have to see it together like the residents uh, the professional and the government together that how we can overcome these issues how can we find new spaces and add to the list and develop that something sensible something meaningful for everybody the spaces are inclusive for all the age groups all the genders and nobody is missed out from this space we uh, over the years we understood what kind of problems people face of different gender just because of the gender where the difference come in while using that space be it a toilet or be it a street and there there we realize is gender is a reality just by ignoring it we can't say it will disappear it is going to remain and we, if we have to address to it we have to be a little sensitive towards it it's just like a small kid they can just walk alone on the street but it's not safe for them to walk so we have to give that extra care but even a small signage can start these conversations in public which is important from my point of view